I'm Dr. Marcos Iglesias, Chief Medical Director for Travelers. And today I'd like to tell you about an important and often overlooked risk in the construction industry. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. In 2019, over 47,000 individuals died by suicide. And for every one of these people lost, there are an estimated 30 more suicide attempts. Yes, these statistics are stunning. Even more sobering is the fact that the CDC has reported that the construction industry had one of the highest rates of suicide among their workers compared to most other industry groups. Another fact, many of the risk factors for suicide are modifiable. So we strive to better understand the factors that may lead an individual to take their life and create an atmosphere where workers feel free to seek and to get help. Some in the construction industry have noted that construction workers potentially have a perfect storm of suicide risk factors. These include a male-dominated workforce with a large percentage of veterans and a significant number of workers with untreated psychiatric and substance use conditions. Many individuals in the industry are stoic and self-reliant, characteristics that may lead them to not seek mental health help Today it is more important than ever to be aware of the problem and to face it head on, including having open, frank conversations which can destigmatize mental health conditions and create a supportive environment with available resources to help. My name is Mike Haller. I'm the CEO of Wallbridge and I've been in the industry and at Wallbridge for 48 years. Today we're gonna to speak about health and safety, particularly mental health. Generally in our industry, we always talk, when we talk about health and safety, we're talking about the physical aspects of it. But the world has changed. The stress that has been placed on people's lives is becoming insurmountable. And from that stress in many instances comes depression, comes anxiety. And you must remember every human being is wired different and they all deal with it differently. We must understand this. We must try to be part of the solution and not add to the problem. The construction industry has always been, suck it up, be tough, you can do it. We must become more of an empathetic, listening, understanding environment. We must be the ones who listen, and we can't solve another individual's problem, but if we have the awareness that we notice it in our day-to-day -day dealings, you can maybe say, you know, Maybe you need to talk to somebody about this issue. Maybe you need to seek some professional counseling on this issue. You might save a life. You might save a tragic event for a family. We must become more aware. If we don't, if we always do what we always done, we'll always get what we always got. And that's not acceptable anymore. A hardened attitude in the work environment is not acceptable anymore. It must be more of an inviting and caring attitude that embraces people's feelings more for what they are. As a team, we can solve this issue. No one can do it alone. But if we lock arms and together create a more listening and caring environment, we can make lives better and possibly save lives. Hello, I'm Jennifer Lee from Travelers. As a leading insurer for the construction industry, we can help contractors protect their business and safely send their workers home every night. Death by suicide has been on the rise. Any suicide represents a profound and personal loss, whether it was the loss of a family member, a friend, or a coworker. And the pandemic's ongoing impact on the mental health of workers has the potential to intensify this trend. Travelers is committed to increasing awareness of suicide by connecting businesses to resources that can help. We are a proud supporter of the Construction Industry Alliance for Suicide Prevention, which provides resources to help companies evaluate their mental health and suicide prevention preparedness. Regardless of whether you are a Traveler's customer, you can access resources that are available to support you in increasing awareness of the factors that may contribute to death by suicide, 
training employees about how to talk about mental health with others, and ultimately taking action to address mental health and suicide within your company. With increased awareness, the actions you take can potentially save a person's life. Thank you for listening. It's the first step in taking action to turn this concerning trend around.